so we got Sonic Tag and Surf Spud and Loser's Finals. Both these players don't really get to go to Loser's Finals as of late. Surf Spud's usually chilling out in winners, and Sonic Tag hasn't been performing as um, well as of late, if I remember correctly. Uh, he, he said he isn't usually get to win. So we'll just so. anyway. Yes, the sun is still up here. Na asking in Alaska. Well, I'm answering. I'm answering. Yeah. Things right. are happening. Pokemon are fighting. Okay, yeah, the Pokemans. Okay, so. Right, it's gonna be a nice combo here from Two Spud. Not two torch. <laughs> Sorry, sorry Tech getting damage into things. Yep, all of them. He's doing the homing resets. Oh, he's, he's, he's trying to do that a lot against me. A lot of the wood punishes are coming out here from Sorry Tech. Right. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, okay, that was an odd interaction. Yeah, I'm surprised that uh, they do it. Well, I think uh, that, was that 6 I think that's a high. And so he ducked underneath oh, it. Oh, yeah, and then, But he also yeah. went over, so nothing happened. That makes sense. I think um, what happened there is Sorry Tech thought he perfect form the JX and he tried to go for a homing punish and it didn't quite work. Which is very it's very good to perfect form the JX. If you can, you can get punished. Like a, a good punish. Okay. Alright, so we come to solid combo set up here. Okay, that was good that was very good for Tech just to prioritize get out of the corner there. Really good pressure here. Rotom. Could have snagged that, but no. not able to get anything off of it. Oh! oh. oh. Eye frame. So, here's the thing. I don't think Rotom's a good choice against Gengar. Because, if of all Gengar, I think Gengar's the easiest one to just get rid of Rotom. Easy. Oh, I'm sure. Like, JR, like, uh, um, like uh, J, A, X is the ground, gets rid of it. Like, he has so many off to get rid of it. Like, Gengar is a very aerial character, but, like, he can nullify it really, really quickly. So the speed debuff is being hurt dang that much. Okay, we go full combo starting here. Honestly, I think he just runs Rotom for the really dumb setup of YouTuber. He's gonna do that. Only thing Rotom when you're gonna get your first that before. Right. It's such a I hate that setup. This is cheesy. Hot Tremisu. Get the yeah, it's so that's gonna be my counter to it. And also you can use Umbreon to high frame. Okay. Yeah, I think you need Umbreon to high frame to burst too. Oh, okay. But I think you have to um, preemptively Umbreon. So if you, if you see the setup coming, just Umbreon to get at it. Or Fennekin even. Now, Fennekin's probably even better because they'll push. Uh, if they predict the Fennekin, then they'll push them away so they're not near you with the Rotom. True. Alright, so first Spud winning game one. Sorry, we kind of went off from the match there. But, um, anyways. Yo, Ferrum Stadium. Taking it back. Yo, this music the actually. Days. Dude, this. Or, or this music is actually so great when you don't have to hear it every single match. <laughs> No, he's, he's staying low because any of the surgery options are longer and are high. Yeah, but he can just approach, uh, like, just crawl for the... That is... Gengar's the only character that can move during his low speed, right? I think so, yeah. Or can Shandy. Like Shandy. Shandy can with the high stand. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> nice, he's scooby there. I like what he did there, because he, he covered the tree. <laughs> Sorry, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> and he had the to this one. Now, the thing is, is he can't duck anymore. Mega Gengar gets the stance mechanics that break right. the blaze of hand and the camp and all those things. I think he had 2x though if he really wanted to. Uh, probably. I don't, I don't know off the top of my head if that works or not. Oh, oh so it's a counterattack, okay. yep. I just want my Sorry, Tech like, went really uh, aggressive against that Mega Gengar. That was really. Uh, no. I, I don't think Sir Cloak really expected that. He got a lot of mileage off of there. That was a full damage combo. I don't think he's going to kill, though. Oh, I do have to. Ah. You two actually have a really weird body for that combo. Sir Cloak told me about like, how no. he doesn't interact the way he should. 
really, honestly, that played out so intelligently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I like to note something. So I've always realized round one, or like round two, if it's like going to get through, so it's probably always try and end it with a grab because he wants to get to synergy to be able to be ahead in synergy. That makes sense. Like, it's surprising. Like, every time I go watch him, I just feel like always round one, you will end it with a grab if you can. Because that puts him way ahead in the synergy. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. And that's a huge synergy. Ooh, that's, that's really good. Man. Is a very strong lead here. That is going to take it. I think though he tried to hypnosis. I doubt he tried to just grab there. Yeah. <laughs> Unless he went for a really hard call out. Okay, so, another tag. Really good map around there. He got the nugget. So, we're going to have that first, though. So probably going to wait until um, Tire Tag pops in the bottom. A lot of damage coming out. So it's about my point. Okay, he's going in. Alright. Alright. Ooh, look at the decision. It's a reset. Okay. First. Okay, now you're gonna see Star Trek going from the yep. setup. Yep. Set up. Okay. 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 Respect that. Now he's because he didn't go in the mid. Okay, he's gonna take that hyper beam. Ah. Uh, how does this work? They both have frame one invincibility on the grab, mm, so because the other person you two activated second, he's yeah, gonna win. Okay. The iframes are no longer there Excellent. for sure. So Alright, good first attack from Sorry, Tag there. Alright, so actually, could, was he able to do that on reaction? Mm, I, I had to read. There's no way. Yeah, I don't think that would have worked on reaction. Yeah. Okay. So, alright, we're getting an even game here. One. This is best of three, right? Yeah. Uh, best of five. Best of five. five. Yeah. Because we just. Yeah. Yes. Uh, sorry, So he's doing Toto Kiss now. Like, this is what he should be doing. If he wants to do that Rotom setup, which, to be fair, it's very powerful. It is. Very powerful setup. Um, but if he's going to do that, I'd say he's going to Kiss for um, first round. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because, I mean, Toki is a Yeah, that's already a well established. Yeah. Remember when he used to run Toronto? Yeah. Like, that was when I first entered that game doing YouTube. Stupid Toronto. Like, why? Why would you do that? A lot of health recovered there from the grab. Nice. Okay, able to get around with the iframes, get the headbutt for a good on it. Tries to go for it, this unfortunately a little too far away. Game is taken for that mistake. Game wise gonna cover. Wow. He got that speed buff, he's gonna be able to do a lot of footage here. That was nice to use the product here because he lined it up in such a way that like uh, he couldn't come in and try to punish the whip. Yep. Really good to Wow. There. Love it. Now he's just trying to curse. Whoa! He gets energy. Yeah, okay. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah, first to go under. And there we go. So, one thing you, for anyone who wants to like, know a good place to start with learning how to be Gengar, I always say you w Winfield. Winfield's very important. And I think a good way to figure out a way to do that is more for the clock. Because a lot of things in Gengar are single hit. Like the, head, like the JX, the counter, homing, they're all one hit. If you can perfect block him, you can get a free punch every single time. Now, perfect block is literally just hitting the R at the right time. Right? It's, it's like um, the homing cancel. It's homing. It so you go homing real quick, then R. It's almost as fast as a regular shield, but it has like half the shield stuff. So you can act a lot quicker. Makes sense. It's incredibly helpful. Especially if you see him in the air, um, especially since there's like he goes to the JX a lot, you ready to perfect block. Not to jump, not a good situation for Star Attack. Hey, I do like how he is using the hyper to get around how he can't even crouch anymore. Yeah. Uh, there's no key sad, getting a little more time to get his foot in. And there we go. Everybody confirmed. And that's a victory there for Sir Spud. 2 1 right now, going into game 4. I think Sir Spud's definitely getting his footing back right now. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah. Not 
want to deal with that. Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, sorry to this person who uh, beats her, but uh, like off of his run streak for the longest time and a month ago, like a few months back. Oh, really? Because, like, I mean, Sir Squad was going undefeated for a long time. He just, I don't know what Sir Tech did, but uh, he pulled out a Mewtwo and ended up 2-0 uh, in Sir Squad. Was, was that back at Underground? Yeah. <laughs> I know he, uh, Sir Squad had another win to do a Devil's Fight, and then Grass Mew ended that. I think so, yeah. It's just a goal of... Okay, and then Spud's win streak. <laughs> well, and like, it's not anything against her Spud. No, no, no. He's no. just like the strongest person here. Yeah. So since he's number one on the bar, it's like, it's, it kind of gives everyone a goal. Not so yeah. much a target. But no, it's, yeah, it's definitely not a target. Like, because unfortunately a lot of folks who end up, because I've, I've heard it numerous times, it's like, people don't like having a target on them. I don't blame, I, I hate that bad, but, like, it's still, like, for example, me, I have, I have to play against Sir like, every summer, and he always beats me, that makes me mad. But I cool did, today. I did, yeah, that was, like, the first time I've beat him since, I don't even remember. Yeah. But, like, by no means, like, I don't want to put a target on this one, it's just, like, for a lot of people, he's the reason why, like, a lot of people are losing to but like, he, he, all, like, he always plays his, like, top one or two. Oh, oh god, dang. yeah, that was a really tight situation. He tried to back dash, I could tell. Just, yeah, I don't think he will cover enough distance. Uh, Gengar can't cancel that wheel, can he? Nope. Okay. I was gonna say, if he can cancel it, it would be... Either way. That's good. Obviously, committing the counter attack is not a good idea against Mega Game Guard. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, so. Without that said, like a Shadow Ball into grab, mm -hmm. I want to say if you do empty get up, like don't put any buttons, and you have like more like immaturity, I think you can avoid the grab and then like delay your shield. And now, I think that covers both options. The Shadow Ball disappears in the world. Yeah, but like the iframes will get you through the grab, like it'll, you'll miss the beat. If he, does, if he goes to the meeting. Right, if you do it to the stage. I think that does work, so I might need to check out that. Because I know that's not annoying. Yeah. Right, really? There's something else very often. Think about it. Well, you have, um... Uh, Sky Epica. Yeah. Sky Epica. Yeah. Uh, is that a one? Is it frame one? Yeah. It's a... Well, I think it's frame one. Well, that's how you beat Heatwave. Yeah. yeah. Alright, well, Sir Spud is going to go ahead and take this 3-1. Yeah, that was a very quick round there. Alright, gets up though the sorry tag. Up to winner's finals, and they'll stick the final.